been a brutal year for U.S. casino operator MGM Resorts, posting record losses at the start of this year. But the company is looking now beyond its stomping grounds. Now it's betting on success in Canada with a multi-billion dollar casino resort in the heart of Toronto. But as Christian Yao reports, some critics say it could impact the city's existing entertainment industry. Gambling is big business in Canada. Every year, millions of people flock to Niagara Falls, not just for its natural wonder, but to gamble at one of the country's biggest casino resorts. US rival MGM Resorts is hoping to trump that with an even bigger gambling complex in downtown Toronto, an all-singing, all-dancing, year-round entertainment resort in an area currently used for just two weeks of the year for the Canadian National Exhibition. The companies behind the plans to build here are promising to deliver more than 10,000 new jobs for the city. They also hope to attract more than a million new tourists to Toronto every year. But critics argue that the visitors and revenue generated by the casino will rarely leave the confines of the resort itself. The nature of these mega integrated resorts, they offer all those other amenities. They offer the cafes, they offer retail, they offer bars, they offer restaurants, they offer theatre. The whole raison d'etre is to bring you in and keep you in. Local traders, residents and workers' unions claim the resort would decay Toronto's vibrant leisure districts and bring about a gambling addiction epidemic. But Toronto's gambling regulator insists that similar resorts have added value to other cities. If we look at a, a comparable city, Melbourne, Australia, they have one large casino in their downtown core, and they've had it since 1994. And if we look at everything else that's around it, um, there are tons of restaurants and tons of entertainment options that have spun off from that casino, and plus it's a vibrant city. MGM faces an uphill battle. There are concerns about the firm's finances, having reported a $1.3 billion loss. Toronto City Councillors are reluctant to approve the resort until MGM provides a guaranteed share of revenue. With other potential sites outside Toronto offering fewer obstacles, MGM may build elsewhere, leaving the city to ask itself what if in years to come. MGM still wants to transform downtown Toronto into a gambling mecca, but for now it looks like all bets are off. Christian Yeo, CCTV, Toronto.